so hello everybody today we are doing this vlogmas as a family i have my last boy here hey, and i have my granddaughter here hey. that's i call her superstar and i call her vibes i hope you mostly remember her can you introduce yourself again who hey, ran away guys, from youtube it's me vibes vibes hope you guys still remember me i'm the interview girl always asking daddy questions so yeah i'm back again one last time okay <laughs> And my, my granddaughter, if you saw the shots I did on bullying, uh, she was the one that was in it. I also have featured her on TikTok. She has her own TikTok stuff. She's not so much into YouTube like that. Okay, let's leave that. This vlog match is all about uh, Christmas experience. Oh, so, we are, how do we start this? We are scripted though. We are just flowing. Are we? Yeah. Are we scripted? No? Roar. 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 And direct. And direct. Yeah. From the source. So we want to talk about Christmas experience. Let me start from myself. For my own Christmas experience is this. When I was younger, my by this time, my dad will uh, have bought our clothes. We always get one cloth for Christmas, one for Easter. Uh, and that happens uh, every year, two clothes per year. Of course, we were many, our family was large then. So, by September, he will have started buying it gradually. So those of us who he has bought us will be going to his wardrobe and will be keeping at the clothes. Just imagining when Christmas will come, we will finally wear this cloth. Everybody will be peeping at it and all the rest. Then he used to buy us toy plastic guns. I don't know you know, do you know John Wayne? I don't know. You don't know John Wayne. Uh -uh. I shouldn't yeah. ask I shouldn't ask James. <laughs> <laughs> he would have bought up plastic guns, everything will be in the wardrobe and it used to make that waiting for that day to come and then when the day finally comes you know maybe it's on sunday we we'll wear it and everything so don't let me i see about that things too so don't let me see everything so what's your own christmas experience like like okay i think don't bring us out too much really tops the moment for me anticipating christmas was the fact that it's the fact that when it was christmas i was busy just like kids not like me being an adult now as a child so the fun part is that uh, order, please. <laughs> as, as a child, you know, as a child. <laughs> so what made it so interesting was the fact that every Christmas period, you know it's getting to Christmas when your mom, when your mom buys you that shoe that comes with that light, like I mean the side. It has this blinking light, then you know Christmas is getting into Christmas. There was this cloth that was always raining back there, it was like a jacket and there was a yellow top on it with that mm. skirt, a mini skirt. Once your mommy buys you that and your glasses. But like your plastic wristwatch, my god, there's nobody like even if, even if you don't eat any Christmas, right? That is a Christmas for you, and that was my top moment. Oh. Anticipating that clothes, and this is my wristwatch with my shoe that mm. should have lights, and then I found a Christmas cup. That was like every single moment for me, and I think that's one thing I always like. Okay, anticipated as a child to come. Superstar, up. what's your own Christmas uh, like? Um, I don't really have a special Christmas moment, but my best is, I don't know, when you're just going out with your friends, you're chilling. You're chilling going, we are, what do you mean by chilling? You're, you you're go swimming, you're going out for shopping, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's always so fun. Okay. Then you now see that stuff. Then once somebody will not pay for you, you're going out for a movie. Oh, somebody, somebody that's mommy yeah. and party, you know, yeah. no, no, the other like people, the banks. Like your will be like 50k, just use and go out. <laughs> Talking about it. when I was small, well, going out is you go to your neighbor, mm. you go and go and eat rice in their house. They will also bring rice to your house. Mm. I mean, you are sure of getting rice from like six, seven neighbors, but now a lot, a lot. Hmm. Now nothing is happening. No neighbor is bringing anything. Life is happening as long as we are alive. But because by now, when I was younger, ah. From church, you'll be going from house to house, corner to corner, I know, flexing yourself. Yeah, you Invitations up and down. Yeah. yeah. So, Daddy, what are you doing first for Christmas? Your, your own one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know one thing that I think made everything to be like this? Yeah. Back then, Christmas period, mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you can remember, once it's getting to Christmas, once your mom buys that turkey oil, you, I don't forget that you remember yeah, that turkey oil, that turkey oil you your, in that your, can. Like, once it lands like this, Ew. Nah, you know it's about to go down. 
then the most part of it all is if they now buy stallion rice. I mean, yeah, we listen to right now. That, that was rice, rice and stone is what we are eating. You know, that was when we Nigeria, had rice. Uh, I mean, Nigeria. when I say rice of rice, like once you see that stallion rice with that can of turkey oil, hey, oh. nice. it's about to shut down. Shut it down, period. Because ah, jello fries, jello fries, salad, fried rice, coconut rice. Ah, what kind of rice? Hey, God, do. And you know what part of the part of it is that? that you can eat on christmas like so many times you can eat meat upon meat and nobody do ask but now 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 they, they measure the rice they give you like i've been to practice these days they have this very small measurement cup they used to measure the rice for you this christmas hey there is no oil like that money let's go to the market and buy that small sachet oil to use and cook rice it, 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 it was not as fun as it used to be back then when after service, you get to hear Shashimba telling you that, oh, bring the kids to the house, let them come and eat now. Mm. I'm cooking rice, let them come and mm. eat though. Now, who is cooking rice? Hey, if you won't delay too much, you go, that's it, that's going to fire you. Go, yes. Because nobody's even giving you anything. Back then, you will be hearing your neighbor shouting, Mama and Kechi, hey, say Kenneth to come and collect rice, so I just cook the love rice. The next thing, coolers upon coolers are coming to the Nobody house. Nobody is pulling any cooler now. And I mean uh, coolers upon coolers. No cooler anywhere. Can but I, now, can I give you when I was younger? Are you please share? Huh? <laughs> My mom, are you hearing me? Yeah, hmm? I'm here. Because we were so poor way back then, my my mom could not afford rice, could not afford chicken, could not afford anything. Because my dad, of course, there was no money. We were just surviving. So, in order to avoid the embarrassment of everybody's cooking rice and all the rest, my mom will now not devise, you know, that time in your house, you have to you cook in front of your door. Mm -hmm. It's a one, one room, something. That's where we go. So, my mom, because she, my dad, for financial reasons, could not provide. So what she normally do is, she put when she puts her stove out, you know, we put the oil in it, heat it when it's very hot. She will not carry the stove and this thing inside. Pour water inside. She will make sure. Like you put chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like you put chicken. The thing will make sure so that. This woman don't come and eat my cow. We are talking Christmas talk here. <laughs> she will put then she will now sprinkle curry and all those things that women normally put. They smell uh, mm, we cover everywhere. Fragrance. People will think that we are also happening because <laughs> nobody ever got invited for that rice experience. So it's only she and we and the children because my dad then was not working in Lake was he got transferred to Kanji. So we were left with our mom and all the rest. So that was our Christmas experience. Mm -hmm. But that, but even at that, one or two neighbors still brought uh, this thing. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, you now have to be saying what other people have said. What did you do? You know that when you get back to school, they will ask you to write yes. a comprehension at the Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. Just find out what somebody else said somewhere. That's our own Christmas holiday experience. We rank, you just rank zeros. I mean, photocopy what they said. You write your own. That's mm -hmm. Christmas experience. Do they even still ask you guys to write? Yeah, it's not that much again. Okay. Maybe for primary school. Yeah, so you and I, big, eh, for now, for not for I've leveled up. Uh, I've <laughs> leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would, they, what would they ask you to write when you get back to school? I don't know. I think it's just about your with your friends. Yeah. Or what you do, how you spend your holiday. It's just meeting you guys, but mm. I don't think there's anything to write, any essay, any longer. Just your friends show up. Oh, I ate chicken. I went to this place. I did that. I had fun. Nobody even eats thing. chicken again. Turkey, right? Yes, turkey. People that can't afford turkey. You know, in here, I've not seen any, what do they call it now? I've not even seen decorations like that. Decor. I'm not saying decoration. They don't get D, even the call of no when they said. The decoration not get D again. <laughs> no decorations, no. By this time, hampers should yapa everywhere now. I knew back then when things were, when the economy was still very good. I mean, when Nigeria was still in it. Used to have like this Christmas period. Mm. You see street lights, this red light, they'll just tie everywhere. Ribbons, every street has ribbon. Fine decorations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each community is planning a wrestling, one thing or the other. Yeah, there are yeah, events yeah, for yeah. you to go for. There is this floor against the football match. Nothing is happening. You won't even know. You won't know it's a good Christmas, except you're like, okay, you've been on Calenda. Oh, yeah, it's Christmas. It's happening. It's December already. Okay, let me, let me ask you now. Okay. 
Uh, baby girl, what do you want to do for Christmas? What's going to happen? What's your dad saying? You're thinking on going to Lagos for like a holiday, just like a family time. Since hey, hey, hey. Mm. she flexing, you know. oh. Since my dad is never around and my mom is always busy, so it's just like family period. So you guys are just going out to flex. Flexing yeah. people. Yeah. Day and I've been mm. waiting to happen again. We know now. We know, know the now. system now. Yeah, mm. I'll sponsor you people. Please sponsor <laughs> our sponsor. Uh, yeah. Please okay, sponsor, us, uh, sponsor us. Sponsor us, please. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's just it. Too. We just thank God for being alive and well for Christmas. And we thank God for whatever God has done. If anything happens and we have to do, uh, we will get to know Lagos people. You can go to your Lagos yes. where you come back where we continue where we stop. So that's just the way it's been. This is just a vlog mass that we just decided to just to let God continue to help all of us and bless. Does anybody have any last word? Any I other words to say? Word. Okay, what's your last word? I think the Christmas. One thing about Christmas is not the fact that you had chicken to eat or the clothes. Okay. It's the fact that we get as a family. The fact that we could sit down, laugh, and thank God for everything that we've been through throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. That's what was the highlight, and that's the highlight of Christmas. The fact that you guys are together eating, no matter what it could be, even if it's just ordinary rice without meats or beans, <laughs> that day or yam, that okay. is the main reason for Christmas. The fact that you guys are together as a family, laughing in love, that's what matters most. So, whether you're out there and maybe this Christmas, you can't really afford to have the basic. Have that chicken or the turkey or the like she said, go to Lagos or Dubai or France or Paris or whatever it is. Trust the fact that you get that together as a family this Christmas. That's what matters the most. I thought you guys have each other. That's the biggest gift you can ever have. The biggest present you can ever have. Okay, so Pastor, what's your last word? What's your okay. last word? I just want to say Merry Christmas in advance. Enjoy your day and happy Sunday too. Mother from Spasa. Yes, okay, it is. Yeah, and I remember us in your Lagos Kingdom. In Lagos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you come back. You didn't bring anything of us. Get into us, eh? And I said you blow, eh? No granddad for this on teach go full ground. Okay, yeah, guys, thank you for the time you spent watching with us. I don't have any other last word to say except to say we thank God for life. We'll see you in the next video. What, what do we talk about next time if we do it? Another vlog man like this. Favorite food? Yes, favorite food. I have, I have favorite food. Do you guys want to hear us talk about favorite food? Oh, yes. Don't leave the secret here. Yes, favorite food. Do you have your favorite food? Yeah. Okay, I so. I don't really have a favorite food. No, don't tell them that you don't have a favorite food. Now we want to. Um, she has favorite food. I don't. We have. Okay, we'll be talking about all now. You come and tell us now. Yeah, you don't have to do. So, guys, we'll see you next time. Yeah, so, until then, keep sharing love and happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye. Bye.